How goes the family? Welcome back to Layers Anything Goes. Hopefully you guys are having a great Saturday. Today's topic I'm going to be talking about NFL draft pick versus economic picks. You know, you know me, I was going to put that financial economic spin on it. So it's that time of year when everyone wants to turn on the tube and grab a beer. It's all good, right? I'm not downing the excitement that everyone has for the NFL draft pick events. I'm not, I'm not trying to be around on anybody's parade, but you know, we all work hard. We, um, And you know, we need to have some fun every now and then, let loose and do what we do. No matter how you do it, a lot of America. A lot of people love to watch football. And it's like I always say, if your mind is more engaged in something that doesn't truly change your life or your family's life, then why put so much time and energy into it? That's just my personal opinion. Now, I know that your team picks are like the best things in sliced bread or the air, the invention of the air conditioners. But how about we talk about some other things such as, you know, buying stocks and bonds and, you know, best businesses to open up and the best areas to invest in real estate nowadays, things of that nature. You know, you remember that I'm not a financial profess professional, but I and I'm not giving out any financial advice. However, I'm just giving my perspective on a few things and how I look at it. Three days ago, I read a couple of articles, and I'll have those articles. I'm in the caption here on uh, YouTube. Um, I was it, basically the article stated one of the articles stated about um, the new stocks that are out nowadays, that are the new newest trends of stocks to buy and all that great stuff. And the first company stock to purchase uh, that the article stated was Viva. Uh, Systems Incorporated, which is basically a cloud-based solutions for pharmaceutical and life sciences industries. Its main offerings are presented in a software as a service model and, del and delivery industry-specific tools for content management and many other enterprise applications. Another stock to think about um, looking into is Cloud Data Incorporated, which is a provider of cloud big base um, data solutions and the firm basically delivers an open source distribution platform that enables efficient and secure data management and analytics, you know, so this is something you might want to look into. And of course, last but not least, and this shouldn't be a surprise to anybody, Amazon remains the undisputed cloud computing champion. Um, and it's the share and it shares uh, the total US e-commerce market has projected uh, to reach about 52.4% in 2019 and that's basically up from 48 percent last year in 18 according to eMarketer so like I said when the company when anybody ever mentions Amazon it's never really a big surprise about that and you know like I said you do your own research and you see what works out best for you if you are a stock market investor and you go from there and if you're not investing in the stock market I always say Robin Hood stash acorn get a crack in invest twenty dollars a month or less whatever and just go, go from there and obviously get educated through mentorship and through YouTube videos and through seminars, etc. So that's just my personal opinion on that one. So now, move into my favorite, which is going to get me on the path to financial freedom, real estate. And when it comes down to investing in the real estate the, in the metropolitan America, some of the best to invest in right now are these specific areas. And I think half these cities I'm gonna mention in the surrounding suburbs and I I will start off with the Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas area, which was number one on the list. Number two on the list was New York City. Big surprise there, right? But it's particularly the borough of Brooklyn, New York is a big area right now. Uh, number three was Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina area. Number four was Orlando, Florida. Number five was Nashville, Tennessee. Number six was Austin, Texas. Number seven is Boston, Massachusetts. Number eight is Denver, Colorado. And number nine is uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. And last but not least, 10 is uh, Tampa slash St. Petersburg, Florida. So those are the hot areas that maybe you might want to look into if you're interested in um, investing in the um, real estate uh, industry. They have those areas have some of the best job markets in the United States and the populations are growing at a fast pace. And, you know, like they say, you like to get in there before the getting is good, you know, while the getting is good. And before you never know when the next crash might come so something to think about and, and if you're interested in utilizing the real estate business you know like i said look into those areas maybe look into areas that wasn't mentioned on the list and see what might happen for you you know always nice to ensure that you make the best financial picks instead of worrying about some nba 
NFL team making the, the best draft picks, but that's just my personal opinion, you know? So, and then other industries to look into is fulfillment by Amazon, um, sales, which allows people who sell products, um, thinking about doing this myself, uh, people sell their own products to market their products on uh, Amazon, which is obviously, like I mentioned earlier, one of the biggest online retail platforms in the world, not just the United States, but the world. And a lot of industries that the people still aren't even looking into is the skilled trades industry. Plumbers, electricians, carpentry, welders, air conditioning, heating repair, machinists, masonry, steel working companies. There's still a big list of these jobs that are being unfulfilled right now because people don't have the right technical skill sets or they don't want to go to school with the right technical skill sets. They just want to go get their degree. And there's a bigger demand for these jobs than there are for these blue collar jobs and are for uh, people with college degrees. And these people get paid very well. And a lot of times these people end up owning their own businesses. Therefore, they're getting more tax write-offs when it comes to any and everything that they do. So it's something that you might look, want to look into because I met a gentleman who had his own landscaping business the other day and he makes a good penny. And this past tax year, he made off quite well with all his purchases paying his employees, different contracts, the gas and the maintenance and all that good stuff. And even him going on vacation with his family because when you're a business owner, you can write that stuff off as long as you are discussing business. Learn to play the game. I could go on and on about that, but I'm going to continuously to go on to the different industries. Another industry I want to invest in in the near future is self-storage industry, which continues to be a booming business. Even though you have this big old um, minimalist movement going on with millennials, but you still have a lot of people that have a lot of stuff and given the fact that um, it's this is a big booming industry across North America, and it's fuel and it's basically fueled more by a transient workforce, which people are consistently moving around um, to different jobs and different areas because people go where the work is, and a lot of people are downsizing uh, and they're downsizing their homes, so they need more a place to have storage. You know, I mean, that's the big thing going on the downsizing of homes, which is smart because who needs extra space if it's going to just collect dust? general trend for people to accumulate more and more possessions and the reality shows that are out there like i saw two episodes of this it was just funny but i just but so much i could take storage wars uh uh show and it's a it's a big thing you know and in some areas like new york which is considered to be the highest has a demand which exceeds the supply by 300 percent. that's a lot <laughs> that's a lot to look into and then other industries look into is, you know, facility support services such as cleaning. I've known people with a lot of clean um, cleaning businesses, security officer businesses, building maintenance businesses, painting, moving, moving companies. Then, you know, these are things that are going to continuously be in demand, um, even though we are in the, the, the era of automation. But, you know, a lot of these companies are still going to require people to run these companies, you know, whether they have robotics or not. So it's just something to look into. Um, look into these companies for yourself to maybe want to start in the near future. You know what I mean? And last but not least, um, and this is definitely big in the inner cities, um, gourmet coffee self-serving shops. Um, and this is basically think of an independent coffee shop serving espressos, lattes, cappuccinos, um, all that good stuff. A lot of people might say, well, those places like that can't compete with Starbucks. Think again. A new coffee house recently opened up in a, in a small town in North Carolina, and that has been packed with customers from day one, you know, because obviously we, especially millennials, we love the self-serving aspect of things so that we can get in and get out of wherever we're going in, in a, a quick uh, time frame. So all I'm saying is this, and I'm not downing people who love football. I know it is, it is America's sport, number one sport. And I'm not downing it, but I just will never understand how much how I'm in something like this, and that doesn't change their life. That's just all I can say about that. I'm a think out of I'm a I try to be a think out of the box kind of guy when it comes to everything for the most part, and that's why I put these positive af affirmations. We all need them every day to keep ourselves going because you know you think you might be good, but you just never know you might have. We all have our bad diet, bad days. And when you have a bad day, you need a positive affirmation. It could be in your faith, it could be in your family, it could be in your friends, whatever have you. You know, do what you got to do to keep yourself on a positive right track so you can stay focused, you know. That's why I put these affirmations here at the end of the day. But I will say this, and I say it with sincerity. Does the Super Bowl really have any effect on you if your team wins or loses? No, it really doesn't because you're still going to have to go to that job for the most of you that hate 
and you could have put all that time that you put into looking at ESPN and all this other stuff on these apps and channels and whatever into a, a business and talking to people and being surrounded by people that are on the same level that you are on or that you want to be on. That's all I'm saying. It's not that big of a deal if you just change your, your mindset. And the thing is, it's all about dedication. Are you more dedicated to a football team or are you more dedicated to your, your life and your family and making life better for them all at the same time? That's just a personal question that I, I ask to you and only you can answer it and it don't need to answer it to me, you answer it to yourself. You know, um, I was watching a YouTuber today, um, a real estate investor in Pittsburgh, uh, Pennsylvania, and he stated, and I quote, he's like, and he went through the, the scenarios of how he got to where he is now as an entrepreneur and he got his financial freedom and was able to quit his job within a six year time frame. And he would have been able to do it sooner if he would have got started sooner, it, especially if he, he would have been able to do it much sooner if he um, had better credit and a lot more money in his pocket, but that's another story. He started from out with zero and now he has one of the, a big uh, real estate empire that's continuously growing throughout the state of Pennsylvania, Jersey, Georgia, and New York. So anyways, I digress. What he stated was, if most of us have a 40 hour a week job. So if you dedicate at least four hours a week from Monday through Friday into your business, then that time is going to eventually add up just like saving a little bit amount of money. It will add up and it will obviously help you get to the place where you want to get to, um, no matter what kind of business that you want to start. And I'm talking to the entrepreneurs in the room. And he said, don't worry about having fun. Kind of like me, I'm not worried about having fun. He said, stay focused on your goals, you know, cut out a lot of social media, unless it involves your business. That's a whole different story, but cut out a lot of these unnecessary distractions in your life in order for you to stay dedicated to your goals and aspirations. He's like, don't worry about having fun. He said, if you want to socialize with people, go to like a Than Merle or REI Mentor, Fortune Builders events and things, you know, those two, one to three day seminars. Like I signed up to go to a seminar in May um, just so you can be a, surrounded by like-minded individuals in order for you to stay focused on your grind and, keep, and make sure that you keep your economic um, game tight and your goals and aspirations tight. Because if you're around people that are just talking about things that have nothing to do with you progressing in your career or progressing, in this instance, we're talking about progressing in your business, then there's really no point of really spending a lot of time with those people. So that I'm not downing anybody. I'm not, um, you know, crapping on anybody, but it's just something to uh, keep in mind. I'm going to say on that, please remember that. And please just uh, let's just continue to, to focus on our goals and aspirations. Be an entrepreneur. Don't give up. I know it's hard. Um, if you haven't made it, if you're just getting started, don't give up. Continuously fight for your dreams. Uh, easy to just work a job, but it's hard to it's hard to create a job. Keep that in mind. It's easy to work a job, but it's very hard to try to create a job for yourself or for somebody else. So keep keep fighting the good fight. And I'm on your side, like nationwide. And uh, hopefully you guys like the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please share. Please subscribe. Check out Larry's Anything Goes online uh, store. And let's continuously get this financial intelligence movement booming. And let's continuously uh, do our best to uh, fight hard for our, our goals and aspirations. All right. So you guys take care. Bye bye.